What's up? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about the two things that hold live poker players back from becoming winners. And these two things are kind of like a vicious cycle. So let's jump into it right now. I was just thinking a bit about this and I really thought this applied to poker in general. In 1999, two gentlemen by the name of David Dunning and Justin Kruger performed a study and this study was inspired by a guy by the name of MacArthur Wheeler and this guy, Mr. Wheeler, uh, robbed a bank and he didn't wear any type of disguise or anything and when he was captured by the police because he was on the security camera footage, Mr. Wheeler was flabbergasted that how, you know, how did they identify me and come to find out this guy put lemon juice on his face and he believed if he put lemon juice on his face that he would be rendered invisible to security cameras and he didn't understand how they caught him. I'm going to illustrate the Dunning-Kruger effect right here. What this illustrates is people that lack experience in a particular subject tend to overestimate, dramatically overestimate their skill at you know a certain task. How does this apply to poker? Well, imagine that you watch a bunch of poker vlogs and you check out a bunch of books that's from the library and you study at some training sites and you become familiar with you know the ins and outs of poker strategy and you really arm yourself with a lot of information. Here you are at the beginning, you have very little experience. You're gonna feel overconfident that you understand this game very well. I've had friends over the years who I've just kind of had to just shake my head and because they think that they got this game figured out and I know, you know, they don't have any experience. They don't know what they're talking about. In addition to the fact that they're overconfident and thinking that they understand the game more than they do, they will underestimate the skill of the players that they face at the table because of the Dunning-Kruger effect. It isn't until you start actually gaining some experience, like some real hours, like, you know, 2,000, 3,000 hours at a particular stake that you start to understand, hey, maybe I don't really know that much about this, you know, this game of poker. Like, maybe there's a lot to be learned that I didn't know. And, I mean, that's great when you finally reach that point where you realize, like, you don't know shit about poker and there's so much more to learn. Like, this can be applied to any skill in life, whether it's learning the plumbing trade or learning how to be an electrician or learning how to put sprinkler systems in. I'm just thinking of random examples. Well, this should be easy, right? Because if you gain experience and you can figure the game out and you know, you master the game of poker. And if we just had the Dunning-Kruger effect to worry about, it should be no problem, right? We put in the time, we put the work in, we're gonna get better at poker. But there's something else that at work here, short-term results. So live players in particular are susceptible to this. Let's just say as a live player, you play 150 hours and you destroy the game for 150 hours. Well, Dunning-Kruger effect, you're overconfident, you think you got the game figured out, you're beating it, whatever, right? Well, then you go on a losing streak and you lose a bunch of hands. And this is what live players will do. Poker players in general will do this, but especially live players. Then they think when they're winning that it's justified. And when they're losing, that it's just bad luck and people are getting lucky and you know, it's very unfortunate and, you know, all I got to do is get through this downswing and, you know, they're just waiting for the next upswing. And I've definitely been guilty of this, <laughs> probably still to a point. So you can see how this, you know, short term, short term results can just kind of permanently handcuff you into thinking that you have the game figured out and you just never advance. To gain experience at poker, I would probably limit it to a minimum of a thousand hours, maybe more. So like some people would argue that you need 2000 hours at a, at a particular stake. And that's the thing, like people that play poker, especially live poker, this is going to apply to most of you watching this video. You're going to come in, you're going to play. Most of you don't track your results. So you don't know how you're even doing over a thousand hour sample. And even those of you that do track your results, me and friends of mine, like you'll play for five, 600 hours and everything will go good and you'll have a win rate you're proud of and then you go on a losing streak and your win rate just gets decimated, right? Well, what happens then? You delete the sample out of frustration. So then you start over and you're trying to maintain this win rate of you know $20 an hour or $30 or a million dollars an hour, whatever your goal is, which is kind of silly to begin with, but that's a whole, that's a whole nother topic. With all that being said, 
many people that play online or they play live poker rather are going to fall victim to this they're going to show up they're going to play this game for 20 30 years they're literally never ever going to get any better they're only going to slowly evolve with the player pool like they're going to learn oh hey maybe i shouldn't go broke with top pair they're just going to learn little lessons like that but they're really never going to be capable of doing anything else than maybe breaking even and that's because the dunning kruger effect and short-term results so what can we do to rise above this? I mean, the deck is stacked against us, pun intended. So the first thing we can do is you got to be you got to realize that you don't know anything and that you know, that's where you start off. Until you have experience and you've tracked that experience and your results for that time, you just realize you don't know nothing. And furthermore, you're going to have to put work in. Just playing the game and showing up is not enough. You got to show up, you got to track your results, and you have to critique your play, preferably with help from people that are better at the game than you are. All this can be done in a variety of ways. You can hire a coach, like me, to kind of go over hand histories with you and, you know, illustrate thought process and, and work with you on how to think about spots and gain a better understanding of what to do in certain situations. Or you can go onto forums and post hand histories for review on forums. And there's a lot of good information there too, but there's a lot of misinformation. A lot of people that <laughs> fall victim to the Dunning-Kruger effect and, sh and short-term results oriented, they're gonna be the people that are replying to your hand histories. So not only do you have to put the hand histories on the forum, you have to sift through all the bullshit to get to the good stuff, but you don't know what the good stuff is because you don't know either. So you don't know what's bullshit and what isn't. So it's a learning process to figure out who's giving you the correct advice who's giving you bad advice um i mean it's definitely helpful but you're gonna have to do a lot of work and then furthermore like you can develop a you know you can get into a poker network of like-minded players and you got you guys are all trying to advance and you're all you know putting in work in various places and you're working together trying to you know not working together but you know you're studying together trying to you know discover how to beat this game Friends of mine have told me that they think uh, me making videos, you know, where I do hand analysis, things like that, that I'm potentially giving away valuable information to the player pool and whatever, and they might be right. But on the other hand, I can probably think of at least, at least 20 players at 1-2 No Limit that have been playing for in excess 20 years that are <laughs> under the Dunning-Kruger effect right now. Quite simply put, uh, most live players are results oriented and they think they know way more than they do and it doesn't matter what information you give them, they're never going to learn any different. They're never going to change because they don't want to change because they're not hum humble enough to realize that they need to change. They're never going to get any better. They're only going to slowly evolve with the player pool. But I think it's safe to say that if you don't have at least a thousand hours at a stake in live poker. Um, none of your results prove anything. Just go play poker for a thousand hours and log every single session in and out and see where you're at. That's the first step. And during the entire process, you should be taking notes on interesting hands and going over them, hopefully with someone that has experience in the stakes you're trying to beat, uh, such as a coach like me. <laughs> um, I have a lot of experience at one, two and that's what I specialize in is one-on-one -on -one coaching, trying to help players develop thought process in these stakes. So yeah, you're gonna have to put the work in, you're gonna have to gain the experience, and you're going to have to objectively evaluate your own skill and competence in the game of poker before you'll ever advance. And if you're incapable of doing that, if you just think that you're getting unlucky and, and when you're winning it's justified, I mean, dude, doesn't matter how much content you watch, doesn't matter how many books you read, you're never gonna you're never gonna go anywhere. That's my thoughts on it. I'd love to hear your comments. Don't forget, I have a whole bunch of other videos related to poker. I have one two vlogs, one three vlogs. I have a video about home games, poker etiquette, poker tells. Definitely take a look at my channel and my uploads for more content that I think you might find interesting. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you like poker related content, hand analysis, things like that. And don't forget to ring the bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. 
I will see you in the next video. I hope all is well. Peace.